Hey guys, it's Travis Cronin, senior reporter here at Us Weekly, and we are backstage at the American Heart Association's Go Red for Women Red Dress Collection. There are going to be a ton of celebrities walking the red carpet in their red dress, and we're going to talk to them all about their Valentine's Day plans and what make their hearts skip a beat. So I'm asking people today, what makes your heart flutter? What makes your guys' heart full? I, I would have to say, and I, I'm probably speaking for all of us, but peace and love. You know, wanting wanting to share peace and love in the world. My family, my baby, and my husband, they make my heart flutter. Well, Seeing her in this dress, pretty much. <laughs> to be honest with you, he walked into the room, and I was like surprised that he was there, and then I saw him, and I literally was taken aback. She thought I was I somebody wish else. Seen my I was like, why are, you look, why are you looking at other guys like that? <laughs> well, definitely potato chips. And then um, definitely my animals. I mean, I wake up every morning to two cats and a dog, and I love them. I just love them so much. So what makes your heart skip a beat and your heart full in life? Oh, this. I mean, give the miracle of life. I mean, really, I'm nervous, of course. I'm anxious. But yeah. um, having my children, that love, I remember having my son next to my cheek. That is the most explosive my heart has ever felt in my life. What keeps my heart happy and full is family. You've already said it. I love, love, love family. And what are your Valentine's Day plans this year? What do you have planned for the 14th? Uh, I'm going to kidnap my husband okay. and uh, just spend the day with him. So days after I give birth. I right. thought about that too. I really should have done something for my husband because I didn't. And I'm going to be basically, I can't even walk after I have the C-section. So it's going to be a lot of um, air kiss kisses. <laughs> I'm super excited. It's actually my second uh, Valentine's Day with my husband. Yeah. Um, and my whole family is actually coming into town. So we're probably going to do a boat ride in Malibu, which I'm super excited about. I think we're going to do like a family dinner out, which is like a big deal. What do you have to say? What do you have to say? Yeah, we'll all get dressed up and, you know, do a family date. So everything's well, a secret. I everything know, is right? a secret. I, I actually hate Valentine's Day. It's just like not my thing. Okay. But Brian's birthday is the day after Valentine's Day, so I have a surprise for him. Okay. That's all I can say. Okay. And she tells me Valentine's now. Day is not a big deal, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I could trust the woman who says that. He thinks I'm a believer when she says it, but no, you're completely right to make it's not a big deal, but you better get the Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be chilling in my pajamas with my sweetie pie. <laughs> okay. So how do you keep your heart healthy? I eat high good fats, and I try to do a low-carb, low-sugar diet. I say try because I also enjoy going out to eat, and if there's good bread, I'm going to eat it. I'm going to eat it. I'm going to have that chocolate, too. I love to spin. Okay. I'm vegetarian. Okay. And probably the biggest thing, I, I'm a meditator. Well, for me, Ryan is great because I do like to exercise, but I need, like, a little kick to do it. Okay. And He's always exercising and he's always promoting health and wellness. Cardiovascular activity, I mean, even 30 minutes a day can help you. You know, there's obviously supplements out there, the omega-3 fish oils, the CoQ10. We've got the man. professional <laughs> in the house. Yeah, I have no excuses. That's a wrap, guys. The ladies are all set. They have their red dresses on. They are about to hit the runway, and we got to go take our seats and watch. Happy Valentine's Day, Us Weekly. Happy Valentine's Day, us weekly.